What's going on everybody and welcome back to the smoking section. I'm Sean and tonight I'm going to be bringing on a very very special cigar that was donated to me by one of the members of the Instagram smoking section. Um, he's very very passionate about these cigars. I'm really dying to get into these cigars. Um, the one cigar that I'm going to be smoking tonight looked absolutely delicious uh, and I have two more to the side of me here that I cannot wait to dive into either but that will be for another show or another time. Uh, that I will be smoking those. But first, there's a little bit of business that I want to take care of first. Uh, the first little bit of business is I want to stop doing the little cuts as often with these. Uh, I'm using a different type of software whenever I do my recording for these mini cigar review series. I'm not using StreamYard. I'm actually using the Logitech one, so I'm going to try not to do as many cuts with all this. So I'm going to get all the business out in the beginning, and then we'll get into the cigar. So first things first, and this is the most important thing of all. I am now officially engaged. Uh, I popped a question on Saturday to my beautiful fiance, Jess, who wasn't my fiance at the time, but she is now. So I wanted to throw that out there. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be doing a live stream on Wednesday uh, around 7.30 uh, p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to be lighting up a cigar, and I will be telling everybody all the details for that with some pictures. If I can con her into maybe doing a FaceTime for a little bit before she goes to school, just so that way everybody can you know see her and see everything so that's the first little bit of business um, the second little bit of business is everything that I'm going to be doing tonight or everything that I'm talking about everything will have a link in the description um, so for uh, the cigar that I'm bringing on and all that good stuff everything will have a description so always check the description in the bottom uh, of the video just to see what's going on what the video is about and yada 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 and the last little bit of inf information that I'd like to throw out there is if you guys like what I do and you like the videos that I'm putting out, then please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, it means a lot to me to have people that subscribe to the channel so that way you guys can get notifications when I bring something on like this, which is a very awesome cigar that I'm really excited to bring on. And I don't see hardly anybody smoking these cigars. And I think that they're going to be an absolute awesome cigar that you guys need to try and check out at some point in time. So just please like and subscribe, and if you want to know whenever there's a new video out, hit that little bell for notifications so that way you can be one of the first ones to watch these videos. But for now, I'm going to bring on this cigar, I'm going to do the introduction, and we are going to jump right on into it. So I will be right back. So, in the smoking section today, I have Psy Premium Cigars. Uh, I'm going to be smoking one of their products, which is going to be this one right here, this beautiful, beautiful cigar. This is the Torpedo, as you can see right below me, right in that little area right there. This is the Torpedo. They have a lot of different cigars as well, uh, and I have three of them here with me, but the Torpedo is the one that I'm going to be lighting up tonight. Uh, the other one they have is the Robusto, and then they also have a beautiful, beautiful barber pole. And I'm really excited to get into these. I was actually corrected by the member that donated these. I was just calling them SY cigars, but it's actually pronounced Psy cigars. So I want to make sure and I got that out right. I want to get that out correctly. There will be a link in the description to PsyCigars.com where you can check out these cigars, read more about them, get some details on them, what you would like to smoke. And you know, the cool thing about them is, which I have all my information right here, they actually give you a card about the cigar. So tonight for the Torpedo, this is a six six inch cigar by 54 it's actually a 6.125 which i can't do decimals or fractions right now uh it's been a very long day for me but it's basically a six inch cigar by 54 uh ring uh the wrap is an ecuadorian wrap the binder is dominican and the filler is a nicaraguan habano 2000 and it is a full-bodied cigar and oh it gives me one right there six and an eighth so it's a six and an eighth uh inch cigar uh, but I'm going to read the description real quick that comes on the card because I figured they gave you the card So I might as well read the description and it says true in parentheses Torpedo cigars are six and an eighth by 52 They have a closed foot and a bulge in the middle and a taper to the point of the head a legit to Torpedo has all of these qualities and are usually pretty hard to find so this is going to be a legit torpedo uh, I have 
no doubt in my mind that this is going to be an awesome, awesome smoke. And the only way that I'm going to be able to find out if this is an awesome smoke is with a cut and a light. So let me go ahead and get this cut lit, and I'll be right back with our first draw of the cigar. So right by that first light, I got to be honest with you, it is a very, very smooth, smooth cigar. Um, uh, especially on the nasal exhale, the little retro hail, I, you know, I get a little bit of that pepper in it. And right off the back side of my tongue, I get a little bit of like a cream, almost. Um, And there's almost like a woodsy taste to it as well, which is really, really nice. Um, I can't place my finger on the actual wood taste of the cigar. It's it's almost like a uh, like an oak, I would say, like an oaky kind of wood taste to it. Uh, very, very smooth cigar though. I mean, not very heavy on the pepper uh, right off the bat, which I think is awesome. Uh, for this being a full-bodied cigar, uh, you know, at least according to... Um, their little card that it comes with uh it's very very smooth right off the bat which i like it's it's basically going to ease oh excuse me ease you into it before it really starts kicking it up which i find really really nice uh just right off the bat though it has a beautiful beautiful look to it i love 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 gold and black together i don't know why just gold and black just seems so beautiful together it just gives it like a distinguished look like the gold shows like that it's like this high, high on the mountain, just out of your reach. But then the black kind of brings it all down and says like, you can, you can go for these cigars. And they're just, they're an absolute beautiful, beautiful band. Um, I just, I love the band. And I don't know if you guys can see that all too well, but I mean, it is a just beautiful, beautiful band with the gold and black on it. And the flavor profile is right on the bat so far. Uh, it actually has like a, a, a little bit of a sweetness to it as well that comes with it. Um, along with that cream, I get just a, a small hint of like almost like a chocolate, like a milk chocolate. But I mean, it's not very, it's not very present, but it, it's still there. It's just kind of like in that background that kind of says like, oh no, don't worry about the spice too much. There's some sweetness in here as well. Don't turn me down yet. So I'm going to smoke this down to my first third and I'm going to see where the cigar wants to take me. And so far, I'm really, really impressed with the very first light of this cigar, and I cannot wait to see where the rest of this cigar takes me. So give me a little bit, and I will be right back with my first third, and we will see where it goes from there. So give me a second. I'll be right back. This cigar has really started to kick up a notch, and I got to tell you, the ash is absolutely beautiful. Um... It seems like it's doing a really, really nice job. The construction seems like it's a really, really well done cigar. Um, I'm not having any issues with this cigar at all. Uh, the draw is very, very smooth. <clears throat> the smoke is plentiful and just full of flavor. I mean, I'm getting, right now, after I've gotten down to about the first third, I'm getting a lot more pepper, which I knew it was going to spice up just by reading the card it says it's a full-bodied cigar so i have to go by what you know Psy cigars claims their own cigar is um and for me being a lover of full-bodied cigars this is absolutely just exactly what the doctor had ordered <clears throat> i mean the ash i mean it's flaking off a little bit towards the tip uh, but I mean, uh, you know, I have a little tiny bit of an uneven burn. I'm going to see if that winds up bringing itself back out again. But I mean, like I said, I never go by the burn um, to take points off on anything just for the sheer fact of it could have been a mislight on my part. These were shipped to me as well. So, I mean, as I'm taking them out of the bag, even though they have a little pack to them, you know, the pack could have been defective or something to that effect. So I never take off points of that. Uh, the main thing that I like is just that the construction of the cigar is holding up so well the ash is just i mean it's holding on for dear life and i can't even see a crack in it to like make it look like it's gonna like fall off at some point in time i mean i'm shaking it pretty good and i mean it's 
the little little tiny bit it's fallen off but i mean it's not like falling off it's not too heavy for itself so i mean it's it's beautifully beautifully done um now with the cigar the flavor of just the, the pepper i even got a hint of leather in there as well that wood taste is still right there in the background along with a little bit of cream and some milk chocolate as well but i mean all in all i mean this is a beautiful beautiful cigar uh, I really love the way this thing is drawing out right now. Um, I'm really, really impressed. I'm really, really happy with the cigar right now. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to probably knock my ash off in a little bit, see you know how far I can smoke it down. I don't want to ash my nice table right now because it's, it's new. So <laughs> I'm going to probably knock it off in a little bit, but I'm going to see how far I can get it down. And I'm going to see you guys in my next third, which would be my second third, and we will go from there. So I will see you guys in just a second. So I'm on my second little ash pile here. And I mean, you can just see by the way that this ash just clings onto it. I mean, it is it is some solid ash. To me, this is a very, very high quality cigar. Um, I mean, uh, the, the flavor profile for a full bodied cigar. And I got to tell you, this is every bit of full bodied. Um, they are not lying when they say that this is a full bodied cigar. This cigar just absolutely has a beautiful, beautiful look of just the ash to it. The flavor profile, full of pepper. The leather comes in. Right now, coming past the second third, it is just, it's a lot of pepper right now. Um, there's a very small hint of cream. And there's still just a little tiny bit of that wood in the back as well. But really, mainly, it's just pepper and leather that I'm getting a lot of that taste from. Um, the draw is still absolutely perfect. It's absolute perfection. I mean, if you can visualize, well, I mean, I guess I have it here, but I mean, I, I wound up taking off, you know, a, enough of the top of the cigar. That way I would get, you know, a good, good draw on it. But I mean, you could see how much I took off of it just to be able to get a good draw. And I mean, that's only about maybe three eighths of an inch to maybe a half of an inch. Um, off of that and I mean it's just it's a very very clean draw it's a beautiful beautiful cigar that's just it's it's not letting me down in any way shape or form um, the the amount of smoke that you get from this cigar is phenomenal um, I'm not doing multiple little puffs on it to try and keep it lit even with all this ash sitting right on here it's not putting itself out it's just it's an absolute beautiful beautiful cigar and I'm really so impressed to be honest with you i mean it's just i never want to stop smoking it i never want to put it down i mean it just has this beautiful beautiful flavor profile to it and i mean for me this is my first time smoking a Sai premium cigar and i mean it it deserves to have the name premium on the cigar uh it, it is a one-of-a-kind cigar I, I'd have to say that from you know a, a, a smoker standpoint that this brings everything to the table that you would expect from a full-bodied cigar um, from a torpedo cigar that just has a nice clean draw to it you know somebody who likes to try and ash their cigars the ash comes out solid I mean I'm not gonna take my camera off and I'm, I'm not gonna pick it up but I mean I literally broke off the ash and it wound up you know, just everything just sat right there on it. Um, you can actually pick it up with your fingers and it... Let's try it. Let's try it. Why not? We're going to be adventurous. Uh, nope. Not going to be adventurous. <laughs> but, I mean, it, it really is. It, it's it's an awesome, awesome cigar. And, I mean, I, I'm actually kind of sad that it's not longer, to be honest with you. Um, I'm to the point now where I only have one third left. I'll take the wrapper off. And you know finish this up in my last and final third and it's just it's very sad to me that it's not longer because it is such a beautiful cigar uh, and I really don't have anything negative to say about this cigar uh, I, I did get a little bit of a funky burn on it you know but it, it did correct itself for a little bit but then it just started going down on that one side but once again I, I never really blame that 
on the cigar unless it happens with every cigar. Um, for this being my first time trying this cigar, um, it could have been a light problem on me, you know, trying to light it. So I never really hold that against it, but I mean, it is a absolute beautiful cigar, and I'm so, so thankful that I was able to try this. Um, so the Drunken Corner on Instagram, or at the Drunken Corner, aka my friend Frank, uh, donated these to me. He said, you got to try these. They're awesome, awesome cigars. So kudos to Frank for finding these, or aka the Drunken Corner. And uh, dude, I cannot wait to smoke the rest of them. I'm, I'm going to finish this one up now. I'm going to go ahead and smoke this down to my final third. And I'll be right back with my final thoughts and, you know, tell you how I feel about the cigar altogether. As if you didn't already know what I'm feeling about the cigar yet. Um, but I will be right back after I finish smoking the final third. So I'll see you guys then. So as I'm just getting past my final third here, I still have a little bit to go. Um... The spice has really kicked up. Right now, I, I really can't taste any of those other flavors that I was tasting. Uh, the leather is is pretty much non-existent right now. Maybe just a hint of it, if I really concentrate. Um, it is really spiced up. And even, um, you know, with, it, with the smooth draw, one thing that I have found with a cigar that has a very smooth draw is the smoke gets very, very hot uh, as I get to this point, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It just... It, it, makes me not smoke it all the way down that far unless I really take my time and you know let it cool down a little bit before I take the next puff um, all in all I mean the, the cigar is absolutely amazing I mean I have just a little bit of an uneven burn but I mean it never canoed at all um, I never had to correct it it does correct itself which I was very impressed with as well the construction of the cigar was superb um, the ash was beautiful and the flavor profile all the way through was just absolutely awesome. It's just right now, final third. My 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 mouth actually feels like I just ate a uh, a ghost pepper, uh, just with the the pepper that was on it, um, and just the heat of the smoke that was coming down the barrel of the cigar that I have left. Uh, but all in all, I mean, it is a great great cigar, and I'm just really really thankful and happy that I got to give this a try. I am definitely going to be getting more of these, but. I will get more into that as I get into my final thoughts on the Psy Premium Cigar, uh, the Torpedo. So uh, let me go ahead and finish this up real quick. I just wanted to kind of tap in real quick and let you guys know what I was feeling with this cigar. And uh, I will be right back with my final thoughts and dedications and all that good stuff that I normally bring towards the end. So I'll be right back and I will see you guys in just a couple minutes. So Psy Premium Cigars, the Torpedo. Uh... You know, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be really really honest with you guys. I I really really enjoyed that cigar. Um, it was my first time smoking it. I have not smoked any of the Psy Premium cigars before. Um, better yet, I have two more that I get to dive into at some point in time as well, which I'm really looking forward to as well. Um, you know, I'm a big big barber pole fan. Um, the barber pole, if if I read this one right, is actually a it's a 60 ring. It's a 6x60. Six and, you know, with it, with it being Monday and, you know, me kind of getting to the to the video a little bit late just between work and trying to get dinner and everything, I didn't have a lot of time before I had to start getting everything ready for tomorrow for work. Um, but I was just as happy to smoke the Torpedo as I would be the Barber Pole or the Robusto. Um, the presentation that I get from the cigars uh, are absolutely amazing i mean uh the drunken corner really hooked me up i mean i got a nice little psy cigar coaster that i keep my drinks on um the cards that come with each individual cigar uh from the torpedo to the robusto and then of course the barber pole they all have their own individual cigars and their cards as well um, I got some stickers that came with it. I got a button. I mean, he, he really hooked me up really, really nicely. And I mean, even without all the, the merch and everything that goes with them, honestly, I think that these are exactly what the name says. These are premium cigars. They are absolutely beautiful, beautiful cigars. Um, I definitely highly suggest that you wind up checking out uh, SizeCigars.com, which there will be a link in the description down low uh, for you to check them out. Uh, definitely go and, and see what you can find on them. You know, if there's something that's going to fit your taste, your flavor profile, 
definitely check them out. I think that they are absolutely amazing cigars. I only had one, and my mouth is still watering, getting ready to taste the next ones that I have in line here. And, you know, it just, for me, you know, a cigar doesn't have to be, like, a big name brand. And, you know, I hope that I never insult anybody by saying, but, I mean, I, I never even heard of Psy Premium Cigars until I started doing Instagram, and then you get to meet people, and then they bring these cigar brands to you, and I, I will smoke anything and everything, and I will be honest with you, these are a cigar that I will keep in my humidor. Um, I cannot say enough good things about this cigar, and I mean, don't just take my word for it. I never say, just take my word for it and give them a thumbs up and everything. Go try out their cigars. They're absolutely awesome, awesome cigars, and I just hope that you all get a chance to give them a try and you know like i said they're they're they have so much to offer the website is beautiful the cigars come out absolutely amazing and i mean i just i i definitely stand by size cigars so all in all the rating that i would give this cigar is a 4.6 out of 5 stars um the only thing that i had just a, a small little issue with and like i said i don't take a lot of points off for it but the burn um, it did get a little wonky at one point. Uh, it did correct itself, but then it kind of started going back to its old ways again. But, I mean, it stayed true to itself all the way through. And the only reason I don't take off a lot of points for that is because, like I said, it could have been the way that I... Ooh, excuse me, the way that I wound up uh, lighting the cigar. It could have been between transport. Everybody knows that the mail sucks today. Uh, it, it could have spent a little bit too much time in the mail. The pack could have been, you know, a little defective or a little dry. It doesn't matter. The cigar was an absolute home run. It, they knocked it out of the park. It, I, they crushed it. For a full-bodied torpedo, premium size cigars is absolutely a go-to. So definitely give them a check out. There will be a link in the description. I'm just happy that I was able to smoke one, and I got two more waiting for me, which I'm really, really excited about as well. Um... But other than that, I'm, I'm going to leave this video here. If you guys like these videos and you guys want to see more, or if you guys have a cigar that you would like me to try, or a cigar brand that you want me to try, then, you know, either shoot me a message, I'll, I'll give you some money for a cigar, or, you know, however you guys want to work it. You guys tell me, however you guys want to work it, I will try anything, or give somebody a shout out, or give their brand a try. And I'm always honest, I never lie about how I feel about the cigars, uh, I don't blatantly put anything in a mean way but i don't diss on a cigar either so uh if you have a cigar you want me to give it a try then you know send it my way or link up with me you can find me on facebook at the smoking section groups or on instagram at the underscore smoking underscore section one all one word and you can find us there as well or just message me in the comments here whatever you guys want to do it's up to you but other than that i will see anybody or everybody on Wednesday during our live cigar stream, which I will be bringing out another awesome cigar that I am really, really excited about doing, and I will be doing a live cigar review about that. I might even have my new fiance on there with me just for a quick little, hey, how's it going, everybody, and we'll go from there. So I will see you guys all on Wednesday. I hope you guys have a good rest of the week. As always, stay blessed, stay smoking, and I will catch you guys on the next one. From the smoking section, everybody, I'm Sean. See you guys later. Have a great rest of the day. Bye.